Ultra Maximus back from the future. Actually, the future was yesterday. Uh, so I am guess I'm even further in the future. I, I don't know. It's so confusing. Today is October 22nd, 2015, so we are officially living beyond where Marty and Doc went into the future. It's amazing, people. I had a great Back to the Future day yesterday. I hope you guys did, too. It was a lot of fun. Social media just exploding. I really enjoyed the LEGO Dimensions Back to the Future set. If you have not seen that review, I'll have a link at the end of this one. Uh, but today is really cool because something fun came out uh, early this morning that I went ahead and picked up. Now, a lot of companies are getting into the whole spirit of the Back to the Future Day thing uh, this month. And Universal released a great fake Jaws 19 trailer. If you have not seen that, I will put a link to it right here. Uh, very cool stuff. Very fun. Pepsi actually put out Pepsi Perfect. Unfortunately... They didn't make enough, and it sold out like that, and I was unable to get a bottle, which is very, very sad. I may still try to get one, but I don't want to pay a lot of money for it. And uh, Nike actually put together the uh, Nike mags that actually self-lace, and Michael J. Fox was on Jimmy Kimmel last night and showed them off, and they're coming out next year. They look really, really cool. Unfortunately, it's going to be one of those uh, charity event things for his uh, charity, so it's going to be very limited and super expensive, and the mass public are not going to be able to get them, which is unfortunate. I don't know why they just don't put a version out on retail and give, you know, a part of it to charity. That that would probably make more money, but eh, I'm not the one working at Nike. But the cool thing I did pick up today was the USA Today uh, from Back to the Future 2, which is very, very cool. Now, uh, it's actually the October 22nd edition, because if you go in the movie, they go, uh, Doc goes and looks at the newspaper the day after to see what happens. So they actually go the day before he gets uh, arrested, which is really, really fun. So staying true to that, USA Today actually reprinted um, a fake cover of that newspaper for Back to the Future Day, which is awesome. That came out today, this morning. So if you haven't gotten it, get out there and look for it because I was only able to get a hold of three of these here in Greenwood, Indiana. My local gas station had one copy and the grocery store had two copies. So I went ahead and bought all three. I'm gonna put one up in glass. Uh, one copy is for my good friend, Lawn Boys Post 1975, whose birthday is today. Happy birthday, sir. If you have not watched his channel, I'm going to put a link to it uh, here. Go check him out. He is good people. And um, subscribe to his channel, like his stuff, comment. Uh, very good guy. Uh, so I have one of these to ship over to you, friend. Now, uh, this is really, really cool in the fact that, uh, like I said, they did a complete reprint of this. To the point of we've got the new USA Today logo or the future one that they had in the movie, which is different than the uh, actual USA Today logo. It says Hill Valley Edition, and it's got all these great little nods in here, and there's some other things as well. So uh, just to kind of take a look, there is the USA Today logo, the kind of futuristic style that does not look like that at all. The nation's newspaper, number one uh, in the USA, three billion readers every day. I don't even know if people read newspapers anymore. I haven't bought one in ugh, probably close to 20 years. Um, and there's lots of inside jokes, like it says, uh, via CompuFax satellite, uh, the slam ball playoffs are going to begin, the Cubs uh, sweep a series in five. Unfortunately, my Cubbies lost uh, to the Mets last night, uh, so that uh, is yet another thing we did not get this year. But they were in the series, which is pretty darn cool. Um, let's see, what else? Of course, you've got Youth Jailed, uh, Martin McFly Jr. arrested uh, for theft, and then we got the uh, picture, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's got the cholesterol may... Uh, be a cancer cure, which is kind of funny. And then on the news lines, we've got uh, the Thumb Bandit Strike. Of course, you know, the thumbprints uh, in the movie to access things. A man killed by a falling litter from a hover car. Uh, Tokyo stocks are up. Let's see. Uh, Swiss terrorist threat. Uh, shredding for charity. Uh, pretty funny. Uh, president says she's tired uh, of uh, reporters asking the same questions, which that is kind of uh, interesting 
because, well, you know, we got Hillary Clinton that's running for president, so hopefully that is not something they will uh, get right. Uh, let's see. Pitcher suspended for bionic arm in the slam ball. Uh, jaws without bite. Uh, that's pretty funny. I like that. Uh, let's see. What else is in here? Woman uh, asphyxiates herself adjusting her jacket, uh, talking about the jacket Marty's got. Um, Cafe 80s closes the Moscow branch, which is kind of funny. Mothers Against Drunk Flying. Maddie, the hoverboarding dog. Let's see, on the flip side, what do we got? Um, Atrocity Channel. That's kind of funny. Vietnam surfing and print roll denied again for Joseph Joey Baines, 61, which, you know, his uncle uh, never getting out of jail. Uh, ships sunk by whales since 1978. Three injured uh, when mom rehydrates a pizza. That's pretty funny. And then uh, Hollywood to remake a Match Made in Space, which, of course, is the uh, book that... George McFly writes, very funny. And at the end of this article, it talks about uh, uh, Robert, uh, they're wanting to get Robert Zemeckis to uh, convince, uh, to cast Christopher Lloyd. That's absolutely hysterical. And then the last one is uh, Public More Gullible Than Ever. And this talks about how uh, they showed this fake newspaper to people and actually people believed it. Uh, some people thought it was a hoax, da 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 da. So that's pretty funny. I really like that. Now, the other cool thing is a couple other things. One, they got a Back to the Future. The future is now advertisement for the 30th anniversary uh, Blu-ray set. And then A World Without Parkinson's, uh, Michael J. Fox's charity. That's pretty cool. And then we've got the actual newspaper. And then every section has a different little graphic from Back to the Future. So there's the little uh, camera bot that we see uh, taking the picture of Marty, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We've got the thumbprint in the money section, which is funny. Uh, we've got the flying DeLorean on the sports section, which is pretty funny. Uh, let's see, and then, oh, there's the cubbies. At the bottom, oh, Cubs lose. The paper's changing, Marty. The paper's changing. And then they talk about the sweep of the series uh, in the movie, which is pretty funny. And the last section uh, has got a little Doc Brown in the life section. And then we've got uh, Chris Lloyd holding the paper. Very, very funny. Definitely digging it. Um, and it talks about the future with... The DeLorean. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. Um, it is $2. That is a great, great price for a nice uh, little movie prop rec replica piece. I really, really dig that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I'm going to put this one up in glass and hang it on the wall, I think. And then uh, I got another one for, uh, you know, my buddy over in the UK. Again, happy birthday, Lawn Boys Post 1975. Um, Hey, you know, Back to the Future turned 30 yesterday, and you turned 40 today. Woo! Ooh, I just gave your age away. Sorry, bud. Uh, <laughs> but it's in the name of your YouTube channel, 75. But yeah, definitely cool stuff. If you can find this out today, I would definitely pick this up. I know they're going to sell out really quick. Um, I've already bought them all up around in the Greenwood area, so if you live in Greenwood, sorry. Um, they are gone, but definitely fun, definitely cool. Again, I hope everybody had a great Back to the Future day. I know I did. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, look for more videos in the future. Yeah, get it? Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And as always, look for more videos in the future.